Hello everyone, this is episode 15. Welcome to be back to another episode. Let's play Dread Quest 8. And um, I'm here in the uh, dark world. I'm uh, near in Pichu. And I'm hoping that I get into the uh, village without getting attacked. And, uh, I will, uh, kind of be quiet from, from now on for a while because, uh, we got a cutscene coming up. What? What happened to you? You had to go to the village. 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 Dokik toik ninge po jutak hanek kyu. Kot kim jo dag ninge mitaid. Ninge dat? Teman ilok zuit exukat ekstelen emperia kulaksik? Ki konikat ki ken, naksu daka, hetan kudek niks hantui. Oh my, chau yon kund. Oh, okay. It's piffing. So this is what all the fuss was about. If I'm not mistaken, you must have come through the dark eye. You are dwellers from the world of light, no? Just as I thought, then it must be the will of the goddess that brings you to us. Well, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Perhaps you would visit me in my home later. If you'll just promise me that you can take your time and look around the village as much as you like. I will be waiting then. My home is the largest dwelling here, so you'll know where to find me. Flock of Empichu, let us go back to our work and carry on as a normal. Do not forget to be kind to strangers. Okay, I have a little bit of exploring to do around town. Because uh, even here uh, you can get some mini medals. Which I really don't understand why there are really many medals here. Um, but there are, so. And I don't know if I, you guys have uh, really noticed or not, but uh, um, I am coughing a little bit less than I usually have been, so. Yay for me. If you guys uh, ever start dipping into uh, that much of a coughing fit like I had, especially in the past, um, I would uh, suggest uh, having some honey. Um, I know it sounds weird, but uh, having some uh, straight honey and putting it on the uh, back of your throat for a while uh, actually works pretty good, so, um, I know that's, a uh, kind of a weird thing to hear in a let's play, but, oh well, just making some simple conversation while I, uh, go around the town here, so, okay, so the water is blue, and, the fire is out uh, orangish. Um, okay. Um, I wonder what color uh, the people turn when uh, they get lit on fire. Um, I know that's kind of a morbid thing to say, but I mean, do, do they uh, 
um, do a black fire or do they uh, like do a regular colored fire? I Again, just uh, something you you kind of gotta think about. Okay, the uh, guy in here, he actually sells the exact same equipment that you get in that regular MP2. Um, and again, I don't know why uh, the the uh, treasure chest there is uh, colored. Um, I don't know if uh, somebody brought it over from the light world or or what, but just, I don't think that they have uh, um, colored metals here. Because if they would, then wouldn't you uh, want some like on, on the outside of your house uh, to help? Give it more color and, uh, and stuff. Uh, again, th these are just thoughts. So, just trying to keep the conversation going here in town. So, <coughs> and I know I stressed it earlier, but. Uh, I will say it again, um, Imperia is very hard if you are at a low level or are not comfortable with the level that you are at, go level up now because you will not be able to later. In fact, uh, the fight against her um, is actually coming up pretty quick here. so. So, uh, either go out into the uh, dark world and, uh, fight, uh, some enemies out there and gain a level and, uh, smash the butt. Um, either gain a couple of levels or, um, just hope and pray, um, I would at least, um, Stay at the inn here, and uh, I would uh, highly suggest saving with the priest. Um, and yes, there is a priest here, which I, I don't get. Uh, was uh, the priest uh, lost in the dark world or something? Or Is he the shadow of the priest in a world of light? I have no idea. And the premium mold there, uh, that will be useful in a couple of mixes later on, so... Uh, you can make uh, premium molds of your own, but... You might as well, uh... Just not really worry about it too much right now. Uh, don't uh, sell it or throw it away or, or anything like that, so. You know, I, I'm, uh, nah, I, I was thinking I, I would have that, like, 75 bindles now, but, <coughs> no, nah, that's, uh, not for a little bit, so. But, uh, once I do have 75, I will, uh, Go pick up the uh, sacred armor because uh, th that armor is just one of the best in the game, in my opinion, because it uh, gives you back uh, some of your points um, every round. So when you have that and uh, the hero spear, which is uh, uh, what you will win for rank A in the Monster Arena. Um, that is uh, just awesome. It, it, it almost makes you invisible. Um, but I'm gonna save, so uh, I will uh, be right back.
so... He must have been barking for like 10 minutes now. Stop! Um, anyways, uh, this is Viso 15. You've been watching Let's Play Dragon Quest 8. And uh, when I come back, I will uh, talk to uh, the Elder here and see what the heck is up with the Imperia. So, uh, see you then.